Hey guys, Jaren Selections on the J Zone here with a um, video on the Final Fantasy series in Square Enix. But before I get into that, there's two things I want to mention. Sorry, my voice sounds kind of nasally and kind of weird. Um, I was in school yesterday and I was with one of my friends and he was ill. Um, I think he passed on his cold to me and now I'm like this and I'm quite annoyed. Um, hopefully I get better and all that stuff. But um, the other thing I wanted to mention is the game time season reviews. Um, I will be doing all of the seasons and review all of them. But bear with me because there's going to be like a one or two mat, um, month gap between each review. Because obviously I need to watch all 39 episodes of the season before I can review it and obviously that's going to take me a while because i watch a lot of ongoing series um if you want to know how many i watch um, i'll mention just a few obviously i watch naruto one piece fairy tale um from the i still need to finish um blue exorcist because um blue exorcist is i think it's got two or three more episodes left um but i'm behind i'm like on episode 14 because i watch a lot of anime and i had to put down hold for a while I've heard it's di diverged from the uh, manga a bit, so that's annoying, but maybe th I've heard the filler that is really, really good, so we'll see what happens there. Um, the Talia no Shaka, Sacred 7, obviously I was watching Inazuma 11, which I had to put on hold for a while. Um, I was watching Case Closed till I watched all of the dub episodes, so I stopped watching Case Closed. Um, I'll probably watch the sub episodes eventually. Um, what was the other one? Shin Chan, I was watching quite a few of that. I mean, I watch a lot of anime and it's going to take me a while to do Gintama. But the last two episodes I watched, episode 50 and 51, really, really funny. Gintoki is a great character and makes that show amazing. So do the other supporting characters like Hijikata, Kagura, and Shinpachi. But anyway, let me get onto the main topic of this video Final Fantasy and all that stuff. And um, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, this topic has been on my mind for a while, but really, well, what really triggered me to do it right now is that I was talking to Esper Review through, P through PMs and I will be mentioning his name quite a few times in this video because some of the topics I'm going to talk about in this video we were talking about through PMs so I'm going to refer to some of the things he was saying um, and they, as I said the title of the video Square Enix step your game up for Final Fantasy 13 2 and Versus 13 um, as well because last two games that Square Enix released, last two main Final Fantasy games that Square Enix released, which were Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 14, were disappointments. And first off, let me explain why both of them were disappointments in the eyes of critics and just in the eyes of me myself. The problem with Final Fantasy 13 was that I was extremely hyped to this game. A lot of people were. It, the trailers made the story look amazing. The graphics were beautiful. The battle system looked really unique and intricate. I was hyped for the game. And I'm just going to talk about what the critics thought of the game, talk about um, what, and then I'm going to talk about what I thought about the game. First off, some of the critics that liked the game, they were like, um, the graphics were beautiful, they like, enjoyed the story, they thought the battle system, there was a lot to it, they liked the stagger bar and the stagger meter and how that was implemented into the game. Um, and they liked how it was um, simple, linear and straightforward. That's what some people said, this is what some people said. The other side of the argument was that they didn't like the way that the game was linear because Final Fantasy games are very usually very expansive and have a lot of exploration. Um, some critics didn't like the um, battle system because it you could just spam auto battle and that makes it seem some kind of mindless even though there was there, there is some strategy to it with the saboteur and all of the paradigm shifts and all that um some critics didn't like the there was a lack of variety you didn't really get to do too much very things and another problem was that um the items were they were too expensive and you didn't get enough money from each thing so you would find yourself having to sell a lot of things or grind repetitively just to get enough um, gear to buy things. Now I'm just going to say overall I thought Final Fantasy 13 was a decent game. I would have liked to see more variety in gameplay, maybe some more mini games. I always loved the mini games. Um, I would have liked it to see it becomes expansive at one point when you get into the place, I forgot what it's called. 
um, the place you know with all the dinosaurs and the prehistoric animals, it gets really expansive, but that's by chapter 11. And from what I remember, it's a 14 chapter game, so that's really near to the end. Um, I like the story. I liked three of the characters at least, the other three characters I hated. I liked um, Lightning, Snow and um, Hope. A lot of Final Fantasy fans don't like, um, Final Fantasy 13 fans do not like Hope. Um, I liked Hope and apparently from what Esper was saying in his video a lot of them don't like Snow but I do like Snow because Snow is, um, Snow just wants to be the hero of the show and um, he's pretty courageous. Um, I don't know, I like the way Snow came off because he was kind of like the flawed hero. Um, but yeah, overall I I thought the game was okay, but in, term, in terms of sales it did well, but it, it just came off as a bit of a disappointment and a lot of fans felt really bitter because they didn't think it was a true Final Fantasy game. And a lot of people that have never played Final Fantasy before Final Fantasy 13 got a bad impression of the series just from that one game even though that game wasn't exactly similar to some of the previous editions to the series like 7, 8 and um, 9. So then yeah. there was Final Fantasy XIV which I can just say in terms of sales, in terms of quality, the game was a complete flop. Um, people complain about Marvel vs Capcom 3, I did myself. I, a lot of people, especially Black Box to Creek, um, said that the game was 50% complete but Final Fantasy XIV was a bigger flop because a lot of critics were saying the game was 30% complete, 20% complete because when the game launched a lot of the missions and a lot of the quests and the guilds it wasn't all set out and it wasn't already set up um, there was a lot of glitches the game, it didn't, the world just felt really blocked off it didn't feel as expansive a lot of critics were just ragging on it again and again and they were saying it, the battle system didn't work to the way they wanted it to as well and you know how I, um, I know this game was bad even though I didn't even play it? This was meant to be a subscription service game, but you know what? It was so bad Square Enix didn't put the subscription fee on it. The game was free for a, a number of months. I don't know if it still is free. Um, I don't know if the game's still, I think the game's still around, but it was so bad for months on end, probably three or four months, they had to make the game free. It's, that, that, is, that is a catastrophe for a game that's meant to be a monthly paid service. And plus that, the game, this was what makes it even worse, the game was meant to have a PS3 release. It, the PC release was so bad they didn't even make bother making a PS3 release, it never got released. And a lot of people were hyped to play a big MMORPG on their PS3, but it never came about, that's how bad the game came out and that, that was a very massive disappointment okay now i'm just going to draw this back to the new games which i was meant to be talking about which is final fantasy um 13 2 and versus 13. um final fantasy 13 apparently from interviews because i remember ngs mentioned this in one of his videos was a testing ground for the graphics they want to use in the future final fantasy games which is a good sign because that means they can show a lot of improvements with the gameplay and the battle system and they can make it more expansive. From what I've seen of um, Final Fantasy 13 2, it looks like the story the story looks really compelling and it looks like it's going to immerse me into this world even more. Um, I'm glad they scrapped Vanille and Fang because I wasn't a big fan of either of those characters, actually I kind of hated them. And it looks like Sarah is taking a bigger role and there, there seems to be this really weird time traveling aspect of one of the new characters that's been introduced which really um, intrigues me a lot as well. Um, and there's a whole thing with lightning going on which looks really really interesting um it still looks like they have the a similar battle system and i didn't have too many the only the big the biggest grab i had with the battle system was the abusive auto, auto battle system and if the auto battle wasn't as abusive i wouldn't have any problems with the battle system so i hope that they try and tone that down a bit as well but um, Versus 13 I'm actually really looking forward to, I am. I will probably buy 13 too on the, within the first week, but Versus 13 looks like something I want to pre-order and just get on the first day because the game looks amazing. It looks like a darker version 
of Kingdom Hearts, which is something I really welcome. It's an action RPG mixed in with some, you know, magic and all that stuff and leveling up. Probably get to level up your weapons as well as the um, um, as well as the character and things like that. It looks really interesting. It looks like it's an open world game as well, which is um, which I'm really excited for. The main character looks very very cool too, but. I can say all of this and be all hyped about these two games, but I'm worried. Will Square Enix, you know, will they put in enough work into these games to make them good, or would are they going to release something half-assed again? Because the last two main games I released weren't up to snuff, in my opinion, especially for a series as highly regarded as Final Fantasy XIII. And another worry that a lot of fans of Square Enix are just annoyed about is the fact that. Versus 13, when is this game going to come out? Because I would like this game to come out around about the end of 2012, but the way it's looking, this game is probably going to come out the end of 2013, if not the start of 2014, which is a long while away. And the reason why I'm complaining about that so much is that Esper Review mentioned in one of in his recent video as well. And, he, and I was talking to him through PMs about this. When are we going to get the new Kingdom Hearts game? Because the main team is obviously focusing on these two new games. Um, if Versus 13 were to come out 2014 per se, when will we get Kingdom Hearts? When are we going to get the Worst Kingdom case Hearts scenario? Game? We may be looking at a release of Kingdom Hearts 3 to be um, 2017 and we don't want to wait that long for a Kingdom Hearts game. That's way too long. So. Square Enix, please step your game up. Do something about this. Get these games out. Kingdom Hearts 3 will sell millions. So many fans are waiting for it. And so many new fans will be introduced to it and like it. Um, this may be the gateway game for a lot of fans. They'll just jump in there and see one of the Disney characters and they'll be all excited. And I, I feel Versus 13, if, if done right, that game will be a heavy hitter for Square Enix, so Square Enix don't disappoint us like you did with the last two games. Um, we want these games to be top quality. Make versus make um, 13 2. Just an um, improvement. Uh, learn from the mistakes you made in 13. And just make it a mild improvement. And I want versus 13 to be one of those top tier heavy hitter games on whichever year it's coming out because. It has so much potential from what I've seen. I'm just completely blown away and I just can't wait to see more gameplay, more information on it, even though the information and gameplay is pretty scarce. Anyway, this has been J Man's Productions on the J Zone. Sorry for the varying light levels. I'm recording in front of a there's a window just there and the sun is just changing intensity every 30 seconds, which is really, really weird. I don't know, it's British weather. But um, live and learn, good luck and God bless. Versus 13, I'm so. I want the game now, and hopefully, Final Fantasy um, 13 2 is an improvement. Peace.